Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Lucy? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, good thank evening. you very much. It's raining a lot here. It's raining cats and dogs here. Aquí está lloviendo exageradamente, a ver si no se nos va la señal. We hope we don't lose the signal. No está lloviendo ahí por esa zona. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Eh, tal vez por eso se, se oye como con eco y entrecortado. Ahorita tengo congelada, ya se descongeló la imagen. Vaya, déjame, déjame activar los datos porque si no, creo que podemos perder la señal. Give me a moment. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Uh, very good, teacher. Oh, teacher, nice. eh, eh, podría por lo menos a esta hora estar como oyente, porque estoy en el trabajo, entonces yes. tenemos unas cosas pendientes, entonces voy a ver si me da chance de estar como oyente. It's okay, no problem. It's okay, don't worry. Ah, okay. Bueno, gracias. Okay, no problem. Now, can you hear me better? Se me escucha mucho mejor o lo mismo? Yo le escucho bien desde que se conectó. Ah, ok. ¿Los demás me escuchan bien? Carlos, ¿ya se escucha mejor? Creo que Carlos es que tiene problemas de conexión, ¿verdad? Según estoy viendo. ¿Los demás me escuchan bien? Yo sí escucho con eco también. Yes. Ah, solo porque ahorita se intensificó más la tormenta. Solo déjenme buscar unos audífonos porque si no, yo soy el que no le puede escuchar a ustedes, ¿ok? Give me a moment, please. Denme un segundito. No se me vayan a desconectar por... Eh, ¿Me escuchan? Hola, hola. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. much better. better. Por, es porque conecté. Igual yo no les iba a escuchar si me quedaba así, si no. Sí, bueno. A veces no me gusta porque para hacer movimientos me cuesta. Tengo que estar como pendiente de los audífonos. Pero sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? Me confirman, por favor. ¿Sí? Sí, se le escucha. Yes. Perfect. I can listen to you better. Sí. También les escucho mejor. Okay, uh, so uh, welcome again to this uh, second class. Bienvenidos a esta segunda clase. Welcome to this uh, second class. And well, for I see few people connected. Veo poquitos conectados. I see few people. Um, it's Friday. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's Friday. In the last module, uh, from Yamos, we were like uh, playing. It's Friday, it's Friday, and the body knows it. They said. <laughs> But it's not correct in English, right? It's not correct to say that in English, okay? It's in, in Spanish, yes, we say it, but not in English, all right? It's Friday and we need to rest, maybe we can say. Okay, so let's start, let me pass the attendance and then we start with the, with the class, okay? Let's see, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Okay. Car Carlos. Present. Very good. Can you listen better, Carlos? Se escucha mejor. Can you listen better? Eh, sí, sí, pero, pero que también creo que, que tengo problemas con, la, con, la, con el internet. Sí, eso, está, eso estábamos viendo. That's what we were seeing. Claudia. Cristina. Daniel. Present. Boris. Presente, teacher. Ellen Nilsson. Ellen Hilson is connected, right? Elsie? Present, teacher. Nice. Hazel? Hector? Irma? Present, teacher. Very nice. Javier? Ah, he said Present, teacher. Listening. Okay, no problem, Javier. Uh, Johnny? 
José Mauricio. Lucy. Present. María José. Ajú. Present. Ok, Majo, thank you. Uh, Rafael. Santos. Present teacher. Ok, that's excellent. Lises. Wendy. I am here, teacher. Ok. Jessica. Present. And Carla, Jessica, right? And Carla Maria. Ok. Present. And Carla Raquel. Ok, she's not connected. Okay, everyone. Uh, so welcome again to this uh, to this class. Well, uh, yesterday, well, uh, before I forget, antes de que se me olvide, eh, si hay alguien conectado de los que no estuvo ayer la primera parte de la sesión o toda la sesión, le sugiero que, vi, que vea al menos la primera media hora del video del día de ayer porque ya aparecen unas indicaciones importantes, ¿ok? Generales del curso. Así que, Jessica... Eh, el video de ayer, si puede ver al menos la primera media hora, la, lo correcto sería que vean todo el video porque no estuvieron presentes, ¿verdad? Pero al menos la primera media hora y unas indicaciones importantes para que las revisen, ¿ok? Please, por favor. Igual, de igual manera, si hay alguien que, que también eh, no, no estuvo conectado ayer, eh, también que haga lo mismo, por favor, que revisen al menos la primera media hora del video de ayer para que vean algunas indicaciones importantes, ¿ok? Very good. Uh, so yesterday uh, we started uh, some vocabulary, okay, uh, related to products, right? Uh, for example, uh, we started, uh, here we have it. We studied the word size, okay, weight, price, dimensions, battery life, storage, function, and warranty, and the corresponding descriptions or definitions, okay? So uh, this is just to remember, solo para recordar un poquito. We discussed three questions, and at the end of the class, I explained the difference between how much and how many, okay? Al final de la, cl de la clase, les expliqué la diferencia entre how much and how many, all right? And we said that how much is for singular, and how many is for? It's plural. plural. It's for plural, exactly. So that's the difference, okay? Esa es la diferencia, that's the difference, okay? So for example, how much does the refrigerator weigh? Refrigerator is singular, right? How much does it cost? It is singular, talking about one thing, hablando de una cosa. How much is the warranty? The warranty is singular, so I say how much. How much does it storage? Okay, uh, how much does it store? Okay, so it is singular. How many is for plural? For example, how many features? Features is in plural. Características, cuántas características. How many colors? Cuántos colores is in plural. How many functions? Cuántas funciones is in plural too. And how many products? Okay, it's in plural too. All right? So I explained this yesterday, right? Ayer, ayer revisamos esto. Now, please, individually, individualmente, individually, Take a moment and complete these questions using how much or how many? How much or how many, okay? So take a moment, please. Tomen un momento. Take a moment, please, and complete the sentences. Y completen las oraciones. I give you like four or five minutes for this, okay?
after how many, depending on the words next to, right? Va a depender de la palabra que le sigue, si van a usar how much or how many, okay? For example, in this case, you have pieces, que son partes, okay? In this case, you have uh, these books, estos libros, these books, all right? In this case, you have the battery, hours, in plural, right? Money, and gallons, que son galones, all right? So make a decision. You can compete with how much for singular and how many for plural, okay? La número dos puede ser un poco confusa. I was checking, okay? All right. So please think twice. Piense no dos veces para, para poner la respuesta. Think twice. to share 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Who wants to do number one? Who wants to number one? Who wants to do number one? Me. Okay. Carla Maria. Number two. Say the name, please. Digan el nombre. No digan me, all right? Don't say me, porque no me aparecen así la, en la imagen ahorita que estoy compartiendo, all right? So, for number one, for Carla Maria. Number two? Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. Number two for Carlos. Number three? Cristina. Cristina. Thank you, Cristina. Number three for you. Number four? Number four? You just need to complete using how many or how much. Okay, that's it. So number four. Thank you, Daniel. Number four for you. Okay, Daniel, number four. Number five. Number five. Sorry? Santos. 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 Okay, Daniel, number four. Santos, number five. And the last one, number six. Número seis, number six. Elenilson. Thank you, Elenilson. Okay, let's start with number one, please. Number one. How many pieces do I need to assemble this? Excellent. So the answer is how many pieces, because this is plural, right? How many pieces do I need to assemble this? ¿Cuántas partes necesito para ensamblar esto? Okay, how many pieces? Thank you, Carla Maria. That's great. Number two. Yeah, number two. Yeah. How much do these books cost? Excellent. Okay, so the answer for number two is how much? It's about price, right? Estamos hablando de precio. ¿Cuánto cuestan estos libros? Okay, how much do these books cost? Bernardo, pero these books is plural. You're right, pero no está hablando de los libros, está hablando del precio. It's about the price, okay? ¿De acuerdo? That's why we use how much. Por eso usamos how much. ¿De acuerdo? All right. Number three. How much is the battery life of the computer? Excellent. How much is the battery life of this computer? ¿Cuánto es la vida de la batería de esta? Excellent. Thank you very much. Number four, Daniel. How many hours do you, do I change it? Do I charge it? How many? Yeah, charge it. How many hours do I charge it? Cuántas horas la carga? Right? Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Number five. How, how many? Sorry. How many money do you have? How many money do you have? Right. What about the others? What do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? How many In money? Incorrect. Incorrect. So what is correct, Carla? How much? How much? Santos, recuerda que el dinero no se puede contar cuando hablamos en general. Okay? ¿Cuánto dinero? Digo no cuánto dinero. Okay? So it's how much money do you have? Okay? So fix it, please, Santos. Make the correction. Thank you, Santos, and thank you, Carla. Number six. Number six, who has it? Tenía la número seis, Elenilson. Hello. Reconectó Elenilson. Got disconnected. ¿Quién quería hacerlo? Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Majo, do you want to? ¿Quiere ayudarnos? Do you want to help us? Um, how many gallons of that do you say? Need. It's correct, Majo. How many? How many gallons of water does this need? ¿Cuántos galones de agua necesita esto? How many gallons of water does this need? Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Thank you very much. Here. Now for, for the next activity, we will work in groups. Trabajaremos en equipos. We will work in groups. Solo quiero preguntar, eh, 
vaya, eh, si nadie encendió la cámara. Bueno, solo Javier me informó que iba a, estar traba, iba a estar de oyente. Los que están con cámara apagada van a trabajar en actividad para hacer los equipos. Por eso pregunto. Bueno, Wendy va en motocicleta. ¿Los demás? Jessica, Ulises y José Mauricio. ¿Van a participar, Doris? So uh, for the next activity, uh, we need to work in groups, okay? So I was asking, preguntaba si Doris, Jessica, Ulises y Mauricio van a participar en la actividad de grupo. Teacher, buenas noches. Voy manejando, uh -huh. va a disculpar. No, no hay problema. Por eso pregunto, para hacer los equipos de acuerdo a la cantidad que tengo. Por eso estoy haciendo la consulta. Gracias, Ulises. Gracias. Sí, teacher, yo sí, Petro. Excellent. Okay, uh, so uh, let's continue then. Uh, Doris me decía que sí iba a participar. Ay, perdón, Irma o Doris, ¿qué me decía que iba a participar? Perdón. Oh, Doris, Raquel. Doris, excelente. Thank you very much. Jessica. José Mauricio. Bueno, vamos a trabajar con los que estén entonces. Si hay alguien que no se les agrega, igual o si se agrega de oyente, solo participan los que están activos, ¿ok? Very good. So for the next activity, we have some questions, okay? So listen. Hola, teacher. Uh, hello. Sí, le escribí, le escribí, le escribí un mensaje, teacher, por eso no estaba. Ah, okay. Ahorita reviso, Mauricio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, so we have the use of how many and how much. Vamos a usar en how many y el how much en una actividad de speaking, all right? In a speaking activity. First, lo primero que vamos a hacer es en su equipo, Le van a preguntar a una persona del equipo, what product do you purchase in your workplace? If you ask me, for example, Bernardo, what products do you purchase in your workplace? I say, we purchase paper, printers, markers, ink, etc. Y continúo, ¿verdad? So you make the list, hacemos la lista. Luego todos, everybody, todos los del equipo, le van a estar, le, le van a estar haciendo preguntas con how much and how many acerca de la lista que esa persona le dé, ¿ok? For example, I mentioned paper, printers, markers, and ink. What can you ask me? ¿Qué pueden preguntarme? Ok, Bernardo, how much paper do you buy a month? Yo contesto, we buy 20 reams of paper. Compramos 20 resmas. Otra persona en el grupo me puede preguntar, how many markers do you buy a month? We buy around 30 markers a month. Al mes es a month, right? Otra persona me puede preguntar, how many printers do you buy a month? Uh, we buy one printer, for example. How many, oh, sorry, how much ink do you buy a month? Cuánta tinta? We buy two cartridges a month. Two cartridges, dos cartuchos, okay? And we continue. Dependiendo de la lista que le dé esa persona, así le van a hacer las preguntas acerca de esta lista. Se entiende que van a hacer usando how many y how much. How much paper do you buy? Okay, let's do one example. Hagamos un ejemplo. Let's do one example. Okay? Imagínense que yo estoy trabajando con, with, con Daniel y con Elsie. Para darles un ejemplo. Okay? Elsie me pregunta. La, Elsie me hace la pregunta. What products do you purchase in your workplace? Ask me please, Elsie. Pregúntenme. Okay, teacher. What products do you purchase in your workplace? We purchase paper, printers, markers, ink, blah, blah, blah. Y ahí hay más, ¿verdad? Solo para darles un ejemplo. Y luego Elsie y Daniel me hacen preguntas acerca de la lista que yo les di. Por ejemplo, Daniel me puede preguntar, how much paper do you buy a month? Ask me, Daniel. The microphone, Daniel. Sorry. It's okay. How much paper do you buy a month? 
We buy 20 reams of paper a month. Elsie, me puede hacer la siguiente pregunta. How many? Um, how many uh, printers? Ah, okay. Printers. Yeah. How many printers? Do you buy a month? Uh, do you buy a month? We buy one printer a month. Luego Daniel okay. me puede preguntar, sorry. La siguiente que es con markers. How many markers? How many markers do you buy a month? We buy uh, 30 markers, around 30 markers. And Elsie, the last one, ink, tinta. ¿Cuánta tinta? Um, how how many? much? How much? How much? How much do you buy a month? Ink. How much ink? How much ink do you buy a month? Uh, we buy... Two cartridges, dos cartuchos, two cartridges. Ok. Bien, depende del listado que le dé okay. su compañero. Le van a preguntar acerca de, de ese listado usando how much y how many. ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Yes. 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 ¿Se entiende? Yes. Sure. All right. Yes. La persona que conteste, todo el grupo la va a atacar con preguntas acerca del listado que dé. Ok. ¿De acuerdo? All right. Okay. Using how much and how many. Ok. Hagan una captura de pantalla si gustan, para que tengan esto como ejemplo. Pueden hacer una captura de pantalla a esto, porque eso no lo tienen en el manual. Pueden hacerle una captura de pantalla. Para que tengan las preguntas. So you have the question and the model. Ready? Listo? Yes, I think, right? Okay, that's excellent. Okay, so let's go and let's go then and let's work in groups. Asegúrense que todos hacen preguntas. No quiero a nadie calladito. I don't want anybody anybody quiet. Okay, everybody has to ask questions. Todos deben preguntar. Y si no pueden preguntar, los demás les ayudan. Okay, the others can help. All right. Any doubt? Alguna duda? No. No. No, it's clear, I think, right? Okay, let's go to working groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos entonces. Let's go to working groups. Los grupos serán un poquito grandes para que se ponga interesante la, lo, lo, que van, lo que van a estar preguntando, okay? Que van a estar preguntando, sorry. Okay, let's go. Hold on a second. Uh, we need four groups. Okay. Okay, let's go to working groups. <risa> vale. <Okay. risa> entonces, eh, por ser entonces, usted caballero, bueno, entonces usted entiende. Ustedes me preguntan. <risa> ¿Sí? Yo le pregunto. Voy a revés. Ok, no, ok. No, no, Lucy, Lucy. Lucy. <risa> ok. Lucy. What products do you purchase in your workplace? Eh, Yes. 
uh, we buy uh, 20 rings of paper, uh, products, products wood, productos de madera, products wood, uh, products leathers, productos de cuero, products leathers, folders, erasers, tools, water, uh, gallon, water, gallons, etc. How much um, tools do you buy a month? We buy, we buy 100 tools for six months. Other question? <laughs> How many uh, racers do you buy uh, a month? Approximately, we buy uh, uh, 40 eraser for month. Okay. How many? Okay. How many gallons of water do you buy a month? Yeah. We buy we buy uh, sixty gallons um, for week. Only. <laughs> 24 in the month, approximately. We buy uh, the gallons of water uh, are a week. Okay. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. other person. <laughs> <laughs> Change. No switch. <laughs> you can ask another person, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Carlos, you can ask another person. Usted le puede hacer la pregunta a alguien más. What products do you buy in your workplace? Or do you purchase, sorry. Okay. How much? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, Carlos, what and, products? And Lucy. What products do you purchase in your workplace? Sería la pregunta que usted le va a hacer y luego, en base a lo que conteste, le preguntan todos a esa persona. Elija una persona. Choose one person. Oh, uh, um. Creo que se le fue la conexión a Carlos. Se le fue. Ah, yes. Parece que sí. Alguien más le, pregu se sí. le pregunta entonces y continúa y él se les agrega. Ok. Este, Lu Lucy, usted preguntó, ¿verdad? Sí. Usted preguntó. Vaya, entonces quiero ver, tenemos a um, eh, Cristina. Cristina. ¿Qué? Me oigo. Ve. Sí, se escucha. Carlos. Ah, ya está Carlos nuevamente. Vaya, no sé si ya completamos ahí con Carlos. <ríe> Apareció Carlos. Ok. Ajá. Le iba a preguntar a, a Lucy. A Lucy. Ajá. Eh, eh, what products do you purchase in your, your place, workplace? We purchase um, safety shoes, and we purchase some glasses, and some uh, safety gloves. We purchase paper and we purchase um, specific tools for work and especially safety equipment. Okay. Um. Lucy. Um. Oh. 
how many how many glasses do you buy in the month? We purchase um we buy 30 glasses. Se puede contar. Eso no se puede contar porque es mucho, es demasiado. Bueno, así lo he comprendido yo, por ejemplo, water, how much. Yo yes. le ejemplo yes. del, del dinero, si sí, no dijo, dijo much, no money, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque el dinero no se puede contar en alguna, algo bien específico. No sé, está ahí algo con duda con eso. En general, el money no se puede contar en general, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto dinero? Ok, el dinero en general, pero si hablo de dólares, sí, de dólares sí se pueden contar. Ok, dólares, one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, twenty dollars. Pero si hablo del, del dinero en general, ok, no se puede contar. Yes. Entonces eso, que yo solo una duda. Entonces cuando era how much, es, son cantidades que, ¿no? incontables. Correctamente. Y el money son las contables. Contables, cosas contables o Exacto. cosas plurales, es decir. Uh -huh. Ah, ciertas cantidades que sean que yes. sean generales, pero es algo que sí lo podemos contabilizar. Yes, exactly. Gracias, Tisha. Entonces, Rafael. Volviendo a ¿Sí? usted, porque con a usted que le estábamos haciendo las preguntas. Eh, Diga, pregunte. How many computers do you buy, mom? Eh, possibility, cherry or thirty or thirty or thirty five computer. In the month, in the in the year, but the, depending for the use, the computer, the people, and my working, the chain, the computer. Oh, uh, my computer. But I, I have no computer in my working, but for my boss, depending for the the the, the usuality for day, and uh, six months or one year. Um, of the computing, the chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depending for the people, depending for the people and the usual, usually the computer is the chain mm -hmm. for the next year. Or six, eight, seven, or the, or, the, or, the, or the table for the computing or the chair, the move. <laughs> The break the, the the break the table the break the chair is the chain for the and warehouse and warehouse ten computers my boss I call for I I I help you for me my computer off okay um the personal military is the the the, the chain for the computing or well, depend the hundred refries one hundred chickens. 100 um, salas. Sería 100 um, comedor, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Eh, en inglés. Uh, es Dining room. Dining room, comedor de la, de la mesa con las sillas o comedor sí, sí, de... Sí. Dining room. Sí. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Okay. Or the dining table if you want. If you want to be more specific acerca de la mesita. Dining table, uh -huh. all right? Mm -hmm. 100 dining rooms. Um, sería uh, 
aire acondicionador, ¿cómo se diría? Aire acondicionado. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Air conditioning, AC. AC. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Ahí Conditioning. Conditioning. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Etcétera, etcétera. <laughs> ok, ok. Ok. Es por mí, Miss Ayala. Hello. Hello. Uh, what product do you purchase in your workplace? We purchase um, paper, uh, pencil, computer, uh, make, makers, okay. clips, and etc. Okay. Uh, how much paper do you buy a month? Um, We buy um, fix, um, um, 50 frames of paper. Okay. Uh, and the, the many markers? Uh, we buy. 20 makers. Ah, okay. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. You want to say makers or markers, Carla? Markers. Ah, markers. Okay, you say markers then. Markers. markers. Ah, okay. Marker. Okay. Is that um, clips? Clips. Ah, clips, okay. Yeah. Uh, how much clips do you buy a month? Many. How many clips? Oh, how many clips? Sorry. Uh, we buy around uh, 30 box. boxes. Boxes. Boxes, clips. Okay. Okay. Alguien me va a preguntar a mí. <risa> Yo le consulto. Oh my goodness, we have a pair only here. You finished long time ago, no, right? No. Termin <risa> terminaron hace rato. Yes. You finished long time ago. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry mm -hmm. about that. Okay, let's go then. Vámonos entonces. Let's go to the main session. Okay. You practice, Thank right? You, Okay. So, Daniel, what products do you buy in your workplace? What? What products Sorry? do you buy in your workplace? What uh, products? Complete. Yeah. Uh, laptop, printer, paper. Okay. How many printers do you buy a month? Uh, one. One printer. Good. How one much? Printer. How much paper do you buy a month? Uh, approximately. Mm -hmm. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, people, uh, thank you very much for uh, practicing. All right, thank you very much for, for practicing using how many and how much. Uh, just remember, please, just remember, how many is for plural or countable nouns? How many books? How many printers? How many boxes? How many clips? How many tools? is countable, all right? Para cosas plurales que se pueden contar, all right? How many, what? How many markers? How many cars? How many 
and you continue, right? How much is for singular or uncountable nouns? El how much is para singular o cosas que no se pueden contar. For example, how much ink? Cuánta tinta? How much money? Cuánto dinero? How much paper? Cuánto papel? How much paper? Uh, how much what? And you continue, right? Energy, I don't know, all right? Good. So uh, this is basically how much is for uh, singular or non-countable nouns. El how much is para singular o cosas no contables, okay? De acuerdo? Yes, just remember that. Recuerden eso, remember that, please. Okay, let's go to the next activity. Okay, listen, uh, in the next activity, uh, it says uh, that you need to describe where the different products uh, you have in your workplace are stored. Donde son guardados los diferentes productos de su compañía. For example, for, uh, let me give you some examples. Le voy a dar algunos ejemplos para la estructura que vamos a estar usando, right? For the structure we will be using. For example, I can say um, computers. Okay, esta es la estructura que vamos a utilizar. Computers um, are stored are stored in the office, for example, in the office, okay? Eh, las computadoras son guardadas en la oficina, por ejemplo, okay? Dígame otra, otro producto, another product. Paper. Paper, for example, okay? Paper, um, paper is stored, el papel es guardado de donde? Paper is stored En el archivero, maybe? O en la librera, no sé, en el escritorio. ¿Dónde guardan el papel? Where do you say paper? Or where do you store paper? On the desk, maybe. Ah, okay, on the desk, okay, good. So paper is stored on the desk, for example, okay? El papel es guardado en el escritorio, okay? So miren la estructura, paper is stored. Printers because it's plural, printers are stored, okay? So let's see another one. Uh, let's see ink, la tinta, ink. Ink is stored, la tinta es guardada de las impresoras. Ink is stored where, donde, where? Where do you store the ink? Mm. En una gaveta? Yes, in the desk. Okay, you can say in the desk, all right? In the desk, even you can say in the desks, a uh, drawer, en la gaveta del, del escritorio, in the desks, drawer, okay? So, uh, in, ga in, in gasoline? Ah, gasoline, all right? Uh, you can say um, gasoline, okay. Gasoline uh, is stored, la gasolina es guardada en qué? It's stored in... In the fuel tank. In the fuel tank. Fuel tank, back of the car, or sorry, in in the car. Do you or... say uh, gallon? How do you ah, say? in gallons. All right, in gallons. Ahí tenían ya la palabra gallones en la anterior. Gasoline is stored in gallons. La gasolina es almacenada guardada en gallones. In gallons. All right. Or bottles, you can say. Okay? Very good. So listen, please. Escuchen qué es lo que van a hacer. Les he dado varios ejemplos porque lo que van a hacer es que van a escribir cinco ejemplos acerca de productos de su compañía. Y van a hablar dónde son guardados esos productos. Okay? Ya? Yeah? Lo mismo que yo hice en este momento. ¿De acuerdo? Escriben cinco ejemplos de dónde he guardado ese producto. Primero va el producto. Luego puede ser is o are. Si es singular, van a poner is. Si es plural, van a poner are. Y luego la palabra store, que es almacenado, y el lugar donde es almacenado ese producto. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? Cinco ejemplos acerca de su compañía. About your company. ¿Ok? Siguiendo la estructura que tenemos acá. Following the structure, please.
teacher. Uh, tell me. How do you say bodega in English? Uh, you say a storage room. Storage, storage room. room or warehouse. A storage room warehouse. or warehouse. Mm -hmm. Warehouse. Warehouse okay. or a storage Thanks. room. No problem. Teacher, gabinet, it's a correct word or that's other. Uh, what do you want to say? Ga gabinetes, como estantes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the things that this, uh, that's, that's, the context is different. Let me see, mueble con puertas, you say cabinet. Okay, let me see, take some glasses out of that cabinet. Yeah, you can say cabinet. It's like to put, ah, okay. uh, to put like beaches maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say cabinet, it's okay. Okay, thank you. And how do you say agendas? Agendas. Agendas, okay. Yeah. You write it the same, but you pronounce agendas. Estantes is shelves, all right? Shelves, S-H-E-L-V-E-S. -E Estantes, shelves. Thank you. All right, no problem. I imagine you needed this. <laughs> I would write it on the chat. Ahí se lo voy a escribir en el chat, cómo se escribe estantes, okay? Shelves. I just wrote it. Ahí se lo escribí a todos ahorita en el chat de Zoom. Shelves. Teacher, eh, engrapadora. Stapler. Ahí dice, ahí lo voy a escribir en el chat. Stapler. It's on the, it's on the chat. Yeah. Stapler. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, eh, Aircraft Spar is warehouse is okay or no? Mm, mm, aircraft, aircraft spare parts are stored in spare the warehouse. Are, ah, okay. Espe you are want to say, uh -huh, pieza, verdad, las partes. Si. Sí. Ah, then you say aircraft spare parts are stored mm -hmm. in the warehouse. Are stored, okay? okay. Are stored. Uh -huh. Are stored. Son almacenadas. Ah, son almacenadas. Ah, ok. Yes. Thank en, you. La, en la bodega, in the warehouse. Ok, no problem. Mm -hmm. Teacher, umbrella in the plural. Umbrellas. You only put S. Solo se pone S al final. You only put S. You say umbrellas. Umbrellas, ok. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. All right, let's daré dos minutos más. I'll give you two more minutes for this.
teacher y estante con repisa puede ser lo mismo. Sorry. Estante con una repisa puede ser lo mismo. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. You say shelf, the same. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can say even a little shelf. Okay, un estante pequeño, a little shelf. Teacher, warehouse es también bodega. Yes, it's correct. It's correct. Okay. It's correct. Okay, I gave you four minutes. I said two minutes and I gave you four, okay? Uh, well, I guess, it, I guess you're ready, right? It's okay, if you have two examples, no problem. Three examples, four examples, five examples, no problem, okay? So I will select some participants to share. Seleccionaré algunos para que compartan. Only share one or two examples, okay? Solo compartan uno o dos ejemplos. Share only one or two examples, okay? If you have five, no problem. But the idea in this moment is that you share one or two, no more, because we need many participants, okay, to participate, okay? Good. Yeah. So, uh, pero antes de que compartan, vamos a, le voy a pasar asistencia. I will pass you the attendance, okay? A Carlos. Present. Claudia. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present. Doris. Listen. Ellen Nilsson is listening, I think, right? Elsie? Present. Okay, okay. Hazel? Hector? Irma? Irma? She's not connected, no, right? Javier? Present teacher. Oh, okay. It's problem. It's problem. Okay, you have problems with the connection. Okay, Javier. I am here, teacher. Okay, Johnny. Jose Mauricio. Teacher. Okay, Lucy. Present. Maria Jose. Present teacher. Okay, Rafa. I am here, teacher. Great. Santos. Present teacher. Awesome. Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here, teacher. Yeah. Jessica. Carla Maria. Okay. Present. And Carla Raquel. She's not connected to that, right? Okay, very good. So let's listen to some participations. Escuchemos algunas participaciones. Two examples, no more. Okay, no más de dos ejemplos. No more than two examples. Volunteers, voluntarios, volunteers. Me, Carla. Okay, Carla, let's listen to Carla. Two examples, please, Carla. Okay. Servers are stored in the office. And agendas are stored in the office. Excellent, that's very good. Thank you very much, Carla. Uh, any other volunteer? Otro voluntario? Any other volunteer? Me, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Adelante. Uh, markers and pots are stored in shelves. Uh, Scott tape is, is stored in shelves. Excellent. That's very good. That's amazing. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, another volunteer? Who? Quien? Ah, Irma. Sorry. I, yes. Um, Kitchen. One in the silent room and the rest in the warehouse. Our store in the warehouse. Okay, continue. In warehouse. Um, living machines. Living, lavadora, ¿cómo se dice? Living. No, washing machines. Washing machine. <laughs> washing machine. One in the in the silent room and the rest in the warehouse. Our store. You say our store. Son guardadas. Okay. Our store in the warehouse. Okay. Okay. Um, refrigerator in the in the warehouse. Are okay. Refrigerators are stored in the warehouse. Are stored. Okay, son guardadas. Are, are stored, stored in, in the, the warehouse. 
in the warehouse. Excellent. Thank you very much, Irma. Thank you for your participation. Yeah. More volunteers? Me, teacher, Maho. All right, Maho. Uh, the fabric is stored in the storeroom. Uh, the trail is stored in the warehouse. The marker is stored in the office. Excellent. Uh, this is plural, the last one, Maho. The markers, if it's plural, you say are. The markers are stored in the office, okay? Uh, are, okay. because it's plural, okay. okay? Please. Okay, thank you, Maho. Thank you very much. Uh, more volunteers? Me? Jose Mauricio. Santi. Jose Mauricio Santi. and then Santos, okay? Jose Mauricio. Machines are stored on seventh floor. Excellent. One more, or only one example? Jose Mauricio, only one example? Solo un ejemplo, only one example. ¿Cómo, cómo? Solo un ejemplo va a compartir. Only one example? Ah, excuse me. <laughs> you can give two examples. Paper is stored in shell. Excellent. Uh, spare parts is stored in workshop. Okay, spare parts are, because it's plural, are stored, okay? Repeat, please. Spare parts are stored. Spare parts are stored in workshop. Excellent, that's very good, in the workshop. Thank you, Mauricio, that's very good. Let's listen to Santos Ezequiel. Okay. Pen are stored in the office. Tire are stored in the warehouse. Excellent, that's very good. Thank you, Santos, that's very good. Uh, more volunteers? Two more, don't Christina. Matter. Christina, right? Christina, okay, a screen for meeting is stored in the office. One more. Umbrellas are stored in the room of marketing. Excellent, umbrellas, you say umbrellas. Umbrellas. Okay. La, la doble L en inglés, la doble L o la L que decimos en inglés se pronuncia como una L, ¿ok? Umbrellas. Please. Ok. Thank you, Cristina. Yes. Thank you very much. One last volunteer. Un último no. voluntario. Ulises. Me, teacher. All right, Ulises. Let's listen to Ulises. Uh, mayonnaise and raisin are stored in warehouse. In warehouse. Ok. The last um, raw material is stored in warehouse. Excellent, thank you very much. That's very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you everybody for your participation. Gracias por los que participaron. Y vamos a hacer lo mismo que hacíamos el módulo anterior. Vamos todos, vamos a ir a reacciones y vamos a dar una reacción como forma de decir felicidades a los compañeros que participaron. Okay, yo les daré un corazón. I will give them a heart. Ahí en la barrita de abajo aparecen reacciones, reactions. Vayan y le dan una reacción a sus compañeros. Ok. Thank you. Good job, classmates. Buen trabajo. Good job. Ok. Thank you very much. Good. And thank you for your reactions too, for your classmates. Ok. Thank you. Ahí aparece una opción que dice reactions, reacciones a la par de, de donde dice share screen. Por ahí me parece en la barrita de abajo. Ok. Good. Thank you very much for your participation then. Thanks a lot. Now let's continue with the next activity. In the next activity, we have two things. We have a conversation, right? We have this conversation and we have four sentences, okay? So first, I will pronounce the conversation for you. So please pay attention to the pronunciation of the conversation, please, okay? So everybody paying attention carefully to the pronunciation of the conversation. Okay, so listen carefully. Escuchen atentamente. We start with Aaron. Empezamos con Aaron. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. 
then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Listen again, please. Escuchen nuevamente. Listen again, please. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. All right. Very good. Alguna duda en pronunciación? Any doubt in pronunciation? No? Think it's clear, right? Yes. Material. Arrived. Store. You say store here? Store. Yes, almacenar. Store. Boxes. You say boxes here? Boxes. Cajas. Okay, boxes. Warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. Lift, que es como el, como le dicen a esa maquinita que tiene como un tenedor para levantar cosas. Ustedes que trabajan en el montacarga. El montacarga, ok. Lift. A mí se me olvida siempre, I'm sorry, ok. Yo sé que es el lift, que es esa maquinita con el tenedor para levantar cosas, pero se me olvida. Montacarga, so lift. Lift es el montacarga. Secretary, you say secretary, secretary, secretary. Secretary, no, it's secretary, secretary. And, and basically that's it, right? Basicamente eso es todo. Basically that's it. Two things, okay, dos cosas van a hacer. Van a trabajar en parejas. You will work in pairs for this, okay? You will work in pairs, trabajarán en parejas. First thing, primera cosa. Le voy a dar alrededor de siete minutos. I will give you around seven minutes, ¿ok? Lo primero es practicar la conversación. Está en la página 11, it's on page 11. ¿Todos tienen su manual? Ahí lo mandaron al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ahí lo pueden descargar, al grupo de WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp group. Lo primero es practicar la conversación que está en la página 11. Practican unos cuatro minutos, cambian turnos, practican nuevamente. Y después van a completar las oraciones con la respuesta correcta. Have to o has to. Doesn't have to or doesn't has to. Doesn't have to or has to or have to or has to. De acuerdo a la conversación. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna duda? Repito. Primera cosa, practicar la conversación por cuatro minutos. Los siguientes tres minutos pueden trabajar en elegir la respuesta correcta para completar las oraciones. According to the conversation, de acuerdo a la conversación, a la información de la conversación. Página 11. ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? No. Ya tienen el manual, ¿verdad? Ya lo descargaron. Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so let's work in pairs. Trabajemos en parejas. Si hay alguien que no tiene pareja, me pide ayuda, por favor. Ask for help, please. All right. Page number 11, página número 11, ¿ok? Ok, vamos a trabajar entonces en equipos. Let's go to, en parejas. Let's go to working pairs. Página 11, page 11. Ah, Irma va a participar en la actividad para mandarle, está en un equipo.
टीचर 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 no encontré a nadie en el grupo. Solo... No, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does have where does he have to store the boxes? And Ivan has to store them in the waterfall. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Eh, Entiende el diálogo usted. Así que sí, un poco, pero si quiere eh, una, una, una vez más. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién empieza hoy? Yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ok. <coughs> the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that, has, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Iván have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there any, are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but as and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to do Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Eh, Vamos lo de las preguntas o seguimos? Completamos. Okay. <laughs> Un ratito, pero eh, dice read the conversation again in the circle the correct answer. Number one, Max and Ivan have to or has two store boxes. Um, for me, is have to because Max and Ivan are they. Son ellos. Entiendo. Plural. Para mí sería have, have to. Porque el has es para él o ella. Max and Ivan have to store boxes. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
O sea, es como que en vez de Max e Iván dijera, ellos tienen que almacenar las cajas. Algo así lo entiendo. Entonces, en vez de, de que ponen de ahí, entiendo que ponen Max e Iván. Entonces, yo, bueno, yo marcaría. Have to. Have to. No sé si, si está de acuerdo. Sí. Yo marco Have to. Pero voy a poner aquí el número uno. Have to. Number two. Aaron Dawson has to help store the boxes. It has eh, to order. Eh, Aaron Dawson. Ahí Dawson está bien, solo que, ¿qué dice? Ahí ya me, me perdí. O sea, la, las dos se pueden usar con Aaron, porque es él, ¿verdad? Pero el diálogo, ¿qué dice? Dice que él pide ayuda para... Y hacerle una pregunta a la secretaria. A la secretaria. Ajá. Preguntar primero, ¿verdad? Y ella va a decir que, que si se puede usar. Entonces dice que eh, Max e Iván eh, para decirle a Max y también a Iván lo que tienen eh, para hacer, ¿va? Ajá, correcto. Vale, entonces, aquí Max en Iván, donde dice Max. Esto. He has to start. Ah, eh, teacher. Teacher está por ahí. Yes, I am here. Tell me. Richard, eh, como que no he comprendido muy bien qué es lo que, que tenemos que, que hacer acá en este. Vale, ya, ya practicamos la, la yes. lectura. Pero ahora ajá, hay que, usted mencionó que, que ver cuál, no, no, no comprendí muy bien ahí qué es lo que tenemos que hacer. Abajito de, las de la conversación hay unas oraciones, ¿ok? Cuatro oraciones. Van a, elegir ah. la, van a elegir la respuesta correcta de esas oraciones. Hay dos opciones. Perfecto. Entonces, so select the correct option, please. Perfecto. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok, no problem. Okay. Uh, ah, pues sí, Santos. Entonces, son la, en la parte número tres. Ajá. Sí. Ahí es donde vamos a elegir. Ma, eh, donde dice Max. Eh, y... Max and Ivan. How, how to, uh -huh. uh -huh. how to, or, or, or has to start box. Has to start. Eh, sería la primera, porque eh, tenía que revisar la conversación. Ma... Ajá. Entonces sería la primera porque Max está involucrado en, 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 con, con Iván. Están involucrados en guardar la, la, las cajas. Entonces sería la primera. Cuando decimos, cuando decimos how to es, es plural Bien. y has to es singular. Has to is the opposite. Y la cuatro, the secretary say that they can use the lead. Dice, dice, they thousand, they live about as as until. Okay, secretary Fields. Yo digo que sería I have to. Sí, have to. 
Right? Entonces sería en la, en la primera sería I have to. En la tercera sería Dawson has to. Y en la segunda sería has to. Y en la cuarta I have to. Yo pienso que sí. Teacher. Hello, sorry. Hello. Sorry, Wendy, uh, tell me. Wendy me decía algo, me preguntaba algo, Wendy. Que este, en el caso de solo H-A-S se pronuncia. Has. 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 Okay. Has to. Has, has to, to, exactly. Has to. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Okay, esperemos a los demás. Let's wait for the rest. Faltan varios todavía. They're coming. Ahorita están regresando. Creo que todos han regresado. I think everybody is back. Yes, I hope. Okay, uh, very good. Thank you very much for practicing the conversation and for completing the sentences, okay? So first, let's look at the sentences you uh, completed. Okay, sentence number one, Max and Ivan have to or has to store boxes. What is correct? Have to. Have to. Have to, exactly. So the answer is have to, okay? So the answer is have to, okay? Excellent. And number two, Aaron doesn't have to or has to help store the boxes. What is correct? Has to. Has to, exactly. So the answer is, has to help store the boxes, okay? So that is the answer. Number three, Sam doesn't have to or doesn't has to help? Doesn't has to. Mm, doesn't has to. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the others? Los demás que piensan, what do you think? Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to is correct, okay? Doesn't okay. have to. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, and the last one, number four, the secretary have to or has to? The secretary have to say or has to say they can use the lift? Has to has say to. they can use the lift? That's right. So the yeah. correct answer yeah. is has to. Okay, that's excellent. Ya vamos a ver esto más en detalle, okay? No se preocupen si no las tenían así. Don't worry if you didn't have them like this. Okay, so let's listen to three pairs. Escuchemos tres parejas. Let's listen to three pairs, okay? Con la persona que practicaron, with the person you practice. ¿Quién quiere hacerlo? Who wants to do it? The conversation, right? La conversación, the conversation. Me, Carla. Carla and... And Rafael. Your... And Rafael, okay. Carla and Rafael. Okay. Who starts? ¿Quién inicia? Who starts? Eh, ¿Comienzo yo? Carla. Ok. Ok. The new material who's arrived, arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything, everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, thank you very much, Carla and Rafael. Congratulations, great job, thank you. So let's listen to another pair. Otra pareja, another pair. Me teacher, Majo con Majo. Mauricio. Okay, let's listen to Majo and Mauricio. Who starts? Quien inicia? Who starts? Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, go ahead. Okay, the new material just arrived in the morning. 
still much that he has to store everything. Where does we have to store the boxes? We have Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there's our money boxes. Can they use the leave? They have to use the leg, but uh, has, has until the secretary first. It's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to the max, and I even where they have to do. Excellent. That's very good. Thank you, Mauricio and Majo. Great job. Excelente trabajo. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now let's listen to the last pair, la última pareja, the last pair. Ellen Nilsson, teacher. Okay, and who is your pair, Ellen Nilsson? Cristina. Okay, let's listen to Ellen Nilsson and Cristina. Who starts? Cristina. Who starts? Okay, Cristina. Okay. okay, the new material juice arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, boot, axe, and they'll take secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then... I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, that's, that's amazing. It. Thank you very much. Great job. Excelente trabajo. Great job. Thumbs up. Excellent. Okay, that's very good. Thank you for your uh, participations, okay? Uh, coming next, I will explain the use of have to and has to. Doesn't have to, okay? And don't have to. En ese momento les voy a explicar el uso del have to y el has to, el don't have to y el doesn't have to. All right? Les recomiendo que presten mucha atención para que diferenciemos bien y luego vamos a realizar una actividad eh, con base a la explicación. Ok, así que por favor estén atentos. Pay attention carefully, please. Ok, let's start. Empecemos, let's start. Ok, uh, so in this uh, part we have have to and has to. Ok, I, I will give a brief explanation. We have some examples, of course, okay? So let me share screens with you here. So on this um, little chart, in este cuadrito, on this little chart, we have the uses of have to and has to, okay? So first we have affirmative. And here we have negative, okay? Luego aquí tenemos negativo. Uh, as you know, we have different pronouns, right? Como saben, tenemos diferentes pronombres. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Okay, or I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Um, in English, en inglés, normalmente siempre a veces hay algunos cambios en la tercera persona, que sería el he, el she y el it. El, ella y ello. He, she and it. Okay? Y aquí no es la excepción. Okay, so let's start. So first I say have to, I have to. Have to is for obligation, something I have to do. El have to se usa para obligación, algo que debo hacer o que tengo que hacer, ¿ok? Empecemos con el primer ejemplo. I have to store these packages. Yo tengo que guardar estos paquetes. No hay opción, tengo que guardarlos. It's a must. Es algo que debo hacer. Number two. They have to take everything to the warehouse. They have to take everything to the warehouse. Ellos tienen que llevar todo al almacén o a la bodega. No hay opción. There is no option. They have to. Ellos tienen que hacerlo. They have to do it. Next. We have to ask for permission. Tenemos que pedir permiso. We have to ask for permission. So it's an obligation, right? Y luego vamos a esta parte. Miren. The truck driver. The truck driver is el motorista del camión. Como cuando digo el motorista del camión es como que esté usando el pronombre he, que significa él. 
Cuando uso el pronombre he or she, él o ella, voy a usar has to. Ya no voy a usar have to. So I say the truck driver has to bring the material. El conductor del camión tiene que traer el material. And the last one, la última, he has to use the lift. Él tiene que usar el eh, montacarga. He has to use the lift. Repito. Para he, él, she, ella, and it, que es para referirse a una cosa, voy a usar el has to. ¿Ok? O para un nombre. For example, I say Mauricio has to. Or Cristina. Cristina has to. ¿Ok? Estas son afirmativas. These are affirmative sentences. Now let's go to negative sentences. Vamos a las negativas. Let's go to negative sentences. The same. ¿Ok? I use don't, don't, don't. Pero si ya tengo la tercera persona que sería he, she, it, voy a usar... Aquí hay un doesn't, has to. Aquí hay un error, por cierto, ¿ok? Aquí hay un error. No le presten atención a esto, por favor. Aquí lo correcto sería doesn't have to. No lo había visto, pero sí es un error, ¿ok? El, aquí tiene un error el material. Aquí sería doesn't have to. El has to no es posible aquí, ¿ok? So, let's see the negative. Veamos el negativo. I don't have to store these packages. Yo no tengo que guardar estos paquetes. The same example, but in negative, ¿ok? Number two. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. Ellos no tienen que llevar todo a la bodega. Number three. We don't have to ask for permission. No tenemos que pedir permiso. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. El conductor del camión no tiene que traer el material. Doesn't have to. And the last one, number five. He doesn't, sorry, uh, he doesn't have to uh, use the lift. Él no tiene que usar el montacarga. He doesn't have to, doesn't have to, okay, use the lift. And this is negative. So Teacher, concluding... o, sea que, o sea que ahí no cambia el has. No. Para la tercera persona queda como have, como para los demás. En el negativo no cambia. El cambio ah, okay. es solo en positivo, nada más. Ok, gracias. Yes. O sea que es negativo, siempre es have. Exactly. Si es negativo, voy a, posar, voy, sorry, voy a usar el have. I will use have. Ok. Incluso si estoy usando la tercera persona porque estoy usando el doesn't. I am saying doesn't. Ok. So I can say, for example, Cristina doesn't have to clean the house. O Rafael doesn't have to drive today. Rafael doesn't have to drive today. Rafael no tiene que manejar hoy. ¿Ok? Pero si uso singular, Rafael has to. ¿Ok? O Cristina has to. ¿Ok? Any question? Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Any other question? No. No, it's clear, I think, right? Yes. Solo tengan cuidado con la tercera persona nada más porque ahí es que hay cambios. Si es tercera persona, he, she, it, voy a usar has en positivo, has to. En negativo, si es tercera persona, voy a usar doesn't have to. Ahí está el cambio, ¿ok? Y si son los demás pronombres plurales o hay, voy a usar don't. Don't have to in negative, ¿ok? Don't have to. Don't have to. Ok. ¿Preguntas? ¿Any questions? No. No questions. No questions. No teacher. Muy bien. Si no hay preguntas, entonces ustedes van a trabajar esta actividad. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer aquí? Van a usar la, la forma correcta de have to. The correct form of have to. ¿Ok? Para completar las oraciones. Y aquí tienen el verbo en paréntesis. Y el complemento, the verb and the complement, ¿ok? For example, ¿cómo les quedaría la número uno? The company, in positive. Have. No, the, the company. The have company the is company. singular. The uh, company has, 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 to, has to buy, has to. buy you material. material. Material, así les quedaría la número uno. ¿Por qué ponemos el has to? Porque el de company es tercera persona. Es como decir el pronombre it, porque el it es para una cosa, ¿ok? De company it. 
the company has to buy new materials, ¿ok? Ok, continúen con las demás, por favor. Las escriben en su, en su libreta, si tienen. Oh, si es negativo, ya saben cómo va el negativo, ¿verdad? Aquí tiene not, lo que indica que es negativo. Igual la última, the last one, tiene not, lo que indica que es negativo, ¿ok? Para el not usan don't or doesn't, de acuerdo al pronombre, ¿ok? O al sujeto. Ah, just remember that the idea is to use have to or has to, okay? Or in negative, 
don't have to or, does, or doesn't have to. Ok, the explanation, applying the explanation, ok, aplicando la explicación, applying the explanation. Are you ready? Can we check? Yes. Yep. Can we check? Yes. All right. Uh, let's see what you have. Okay. Number one is already done. All right. Number one is already done. So number one is the company has to buy new material is number one. Uh, so tell me, number two, your partners have to. Has to. Uh have have have, have because have it's to. plural have because it's plural right so you say uh your partners uh let me do it with my uh touch screen uh, so you say your partners uh have to have to pile up right have pile to up pile container. pile up containers okay i will i won't put containers because i don't have space uh your partners have to pile up containers okay Tus compañeros tienen que apilar los contenedores. Your, your partners have to pile up containers. Uh, number three. The agents don't have to not sign the letter. That's right. Don't have to sign. You say don't have to sign. All right. Because don't make the negative. El don't hace el negativo. No tengo que decir nada nuevamente. All right. I don't have to say nada again. So you say the agents don't have to sign the letter. Don't have. All right. Uh, the agents don't have uh, to sign the letter, okay? The agents don't have to sign the letter. Uh, what about Mr. Bonilla? Mr. Boni Mr. Bonilla? Have to. Has to, exactly, has to. Mr. Bonilla has to design new models, all right? Mr. Bonilla has to design New models. Mr. Bonilla tiene que diseñar nuevos modelos. And the last one, negative. The group don't have to work until late. The group Doesn't don't have to doesn't. work until late. Doesn't have. Okay. Doesn't have. This is confusing, right? Uh, si yeah. estoy hablando del grupo, okay, uh, I feel I would say doesn't, okay, porque es el grupo, all right? No las personas en realidad, es el grupo, it's the group, right? So I, I say doesn't, okay? The group uh, doesn't have to work until late, okay? El grupo no tiene que trabajar hasta tarde. The group doesn't have to work until late. Porque está hablando del grupo, not about the whole people, right? It's about the group, okay? Yeah, so that's why it becomes singular, all right? Did, did, did you have it the same? ¿Lo tenía lo mismo? Did you have it the same? Yes. Yes. If not, make the corrections, okay? Si no es así, hagan las correcciones. If not, make the corrections, please. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see the last activity. Vamos a la última actividad de hoy. Let's go to the last activity for today. Okay, listen. In the next activity, we will work in pairs. Trabajaremos en parejas. This is on page number 12. Esto está en la página número 12. It's on page number 12. ¿Qué van a hacer? 
So you need to create a conversation with a foreigner. So it's in pairs. Es en parejas. It's in, in pairs, okay? So you need to converse, to, to create a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of you is new there. So you have to give instructions about how some things have to be done. All right? Imaginen que uno de, de sus, bueno, uno de ustedes como trabajarán en parejas es nuevo en la empresa. Así que le van a decir las cosas que tienen que hacerse. All right? Y luego cambian roles y luego... Eh, el que dijo que tiene que el que le dijo que tiene que hacer al otro va, va tiene que, que escuchar del otro compañero qué es lo que tiene que hacer él ok cambian roles you switch roles ok very good and we have the example here for example i can say imagine i practice with carla or javier i don't know i can say hello javier welcome él es nuevo en la empresa hi how are you says javier i say good I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to move these boxes, for example. Okay, me dice Javier. Where do I have to put the boxes? In the warehouse, for example, okay? Then you have to clean the office, all right? And I continue. Luego le continúo diciendo que él tiene que hacer usando you have to. ¿De acuerdo? Yeah. Yes, entiende que van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? It's in pairs, es en parejas. It's in pairs. Or I can say maybe, imagine I practice with uh, Christina. I say, hello, Christina, welcome. Ella me dice, hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, uh, you have to uh, print, print out these uh, documents. Okay, where do I have to print out the documents? in the main office, then uh, you have to give a coffee to my boss. I don't know, okay, I'm just thinking, all right? I'm just thinking, all right? And then I continue uh, giving the instructions, okay? Continúo dándole las instrucciones de lo que ella tiene que hacer, okay? Just use your imagination, solamente usen su imaginación. So this is on page number 12. Eso está en la página número 12, en la, en la última parte, in the last part. Página número 12, in the last part. Ok, so you will work in pairs, van a trabajar en parejas, tenemos cinco minutos para trabajar. Hagan lo que puedan en estos cinco minutos, ok, pero traten de terminar. Try to finish, please. En cinco minutos lo saco y regresamos, ¿de acuerdo? All right. Page number 12, página número 12, trabajaremos en parejas. You will work in pairs. Ok, let's go. Ah, Irma, perdón, va a trabajar en la actividad. La vez pasada le saqué a Ulises porque usted no estaba ahí en la actividad. Hola, Irma. Ah, very good. Ahí le estaba enviando a Javier, el CIVI que me pidió ayuda. Sí, le estaba, es que estaba ah, sola. Javier estaba solito yeah. también, creo yo, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 estaba solo también. Ok, perfect. So you can work together. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. All right, no okay. problem. Thank you. Ok. Ok, Javier. Ok, el sí. Comenzamos. Um, oh, hello, right. Elsie. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Me llamo así. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay. 
Vamos a ver. Sería good, dice. I have there, I have there the list of activities. You have to first, you have to um, printers. Creo que podríamos poner. Quiero mover unos, unos impresora o cosas así. Lo ponemos así. Ajá. Ah, ok. Está bien. You have to uh, print. Um, ok. Where do we have to um, office? Office my boss. Podría ser. Ok, where are you have to? Sí, sí printer ser. and computer. Y si le agregamos ahí printer and computer. Ok. Y de ahí, ok, where do, where do I have to in the, in the office? Uh, In the office, the my box, my boss. Okay. Yeah. Hey, your boss. Okay. Bueno, entonces sería bueno. Comenzamos con la letra A, la B. Ah, ah, pero, ajá, o sea que quiero ver. Vaya, hola, ¿verdad? Bienvenido. How are you? Good, I have heard the list of activities you have to you. First, you have to clean in the decks. Ok, where do I have to usually in the morning? In the morning, usually. Then do you have to? Okay. Teacher, está bien así. Say it again, say it again please. Díganla nuevamente. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good. I have heard the list of activities you have. Do you? First, you have to clean into decks. Okay, where don't I have to do morning usually? In the morning usually, then you have to. Then you have to? Luego tienes que hacer qué? Otra actividad, then you have to? Ah, Ahí le agrega uh, otra actividad. Then you have ah. to... <laughs> then you have to print the agent? Y termino con... Okay. Yeah. Okay. ok. Ok. Thank you. Puede ser. Ah, sugiero que le, no la han escrito, solo la practicar. Sí, solo la practicar. Ok, no hay ningún correcto. problema. El, el lunes le voy a dar un espacio para que la puedan practicar. Ok. Para que la puedan escribir, perdón, okay. y puedan darle forma. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Ya vamos a salir en un minuto, ok. Uy. Documentos. <risa> Lo otro sería ver los memos. Eso sí. Sí. A check memo. Eh, teacher, eh, la instrucción era, es así como cuando llega uno por primera vez a la empresa, el compañero tiene que darle instrucciones de lo que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Y luego exactly. el otro. Exacto. Y luego okay. el otro le da instrucciones. Cambian roles y el otro da instrucciones. Es como que es para que los dos hagan, los dos como que ya de nuevo, ¿verdad? Pero primero uno le da instrucciones al otro, luego hacen una nueva conversación en el cual el que recibió instrucciones da instrucciones, ¿ok? Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Um, let's check ya vamos a salir, les voy a dar espacio el lunes para que terminen la conversación. Ya tengo aquí los nombres de las parejas, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, okay perfect. Ok, ya es hora. It's time. Ok. Ok. All right.
Vamos a esperar a los demás, ok? We are going to wait for the rest. Ready, Mauricio? Are you ready? Yes. Sorry, ready. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. No problem. It's okay. Ready, Irma? Cristina, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. Me tienen, me, me, me. You have to tell me like my students. Me, me deben decirme como me dicen algunos de, mi, de mis estudiantes. I was born ready, teacher. Nací listo, teacher. I was born ready, teacher. <laughs> ok, very good. Ah, muy bien. Eh, yo sé que no han terminado algunos, ok. No se preocupen. Don't okay. worry, it's ok. Don't feel stressed. No se sientan estresados porque no terminaron. Eh, por aquí ya tomé notas de las, de, de con qué pareja iban, por si se les olvidó. Por aquí lo tengo ya, ok. Ya lo tengo anotado para que el lunes asignarles unos 10 minutos para que terminen su conversación, ok. No se preocupen. Don't worry, ok. It's not homework, no es tarea. El lunes lo vamos a hacer juntos. Te voy a dar unos 10 minutos al principio para que lo hagan, solo que traten de estar conectados temprano todos, ¿ok? Para que no dejen abajo a su compañero, ¿ok? O si no, su compañero va a estar solito y no va a poder hacer la conversación, ¿ok? Les pasaré asistencia la última vez, lo siento, es un poquito tarde, pero debo hacerlo porque se agregaron unos nuevos. O más bien, solo de los que se agregaron, solo está Hazel, creo, de los que no estaban anteriormente. Y para no quitarles mucho tiempo. Sí, solo Hazel, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien que se haya conectado después de las nueve? Solo Hazel, ¿verdad? Sí, los demás estaban antes de las nueve. Sí, solo para, para no quitarles mucho tiempo. Ok, everyone. I know it's 10 five. Yo sé que ya les quité cinco minutos. So thank you very much. Solo recordar a Hazel y a los que no se conectaron ayer. Por favor, vean los primeros, la, al menos la primera media hora del video de ayer, porque hay instrucciones generales que son importantes en el video de ayer, ¿ok? Las instrucciones generales del módulo fueron dadas ayer entre 8 y 8 y media. Así que al menos vean la primera media hora del video de ayer. Lo correcto sería que miraran todo el video, porque no estuvieron en la sesión de ayer, ¿verdad? Pero si no pueden verlo todo, al menos la primera media hora es importante, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. okay. Uh, gracias por conectarse. Thank you for connecting today. Pasen un feliz fin de semana y los veo el lunes. Primero Dios. I'll see you on Adiós. Monday. Good night. Adiós. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>